so hello students welcome to learning continues i hope you are well and i am well just pray for me and maintain the precautions that our government has ordered today i shall discuss a new topic from the nutrition in animals so now the topic is nutrition in ruminants and nutrition in amoeba so let's start the topic nutrition in new uh, ruminants now what is ruminants or why uh, the, the some organisms or some animals are called as ruminants so ruminants the word ruminants is come from rumination the process a process is there by which Uh, goat cow buffalo or, or any uh, herbivorous animals obtain their food or chew their food by a process the process is known as rumination the process is rum, um, known as rumination or chewing the cud rumination or chewing the cud that's why they are known as ruminants so ruminants can digest cellulose ruminant can digest cellulose present in the plant cell or pl- present in the grass but human being cannot digest the cellulose cellulose is a substance present in green plants or grass or in any plant plant cell some kind of bacteria are there in ruminants that's why with the help of bacteria they digest or they absorb the cellulose present in the plant cell so today nutrition in uh, ruminants in nutrition in ruminants we have basically uh, we have four four main parts of ruminants like the digestive system of human we have studied about its mouth esophagus stomach large intestine small intestine liver in this ruminant we have esophagus reticulum omasum abomasum and rumen and small intestine and large intestine now let's start the nutritional process of ruminants so basically ruminants take the food and partially chew it and push it to the first they take their food and cut it into small pieces and then push it push it into rumen the esophagus the esophagus is there then the reticulum omasum and abomasum these three part three parts are act as a esophagus or food pipe and the food product is directly go in rumen esophagus reticulum omasum and abomasum jo hai wo as a esophagus or food pipe kaam karte hai aur jo food product wo rumen tak jata hai ye hota hai first step first step pe kya karte hai card form hota hai yani ki wo partially ya half chew jo food hai वो क्या करते हैं जो फूड प्रोडक्ट लेते हैं वो हाफ चिवड या स्वालो करके वो क्या करते पेट के अंदर यानी कि रूमन तक पहुंचा देते देन सेकंड पार्ट इन सेकंड पार्ट फ्रॉम हाफ चिवड और पार्शियली चिवड फूड प्रोडक्ट इज कम फ्रॉम रूमन टू रेटिकुलम रूमन टू रेटिकुलम ह्यूमन से क्या होता है वो हाफ 
जो डाइजेड फूड जो है जब रेस्ट करते हैं ये रूमिनेट्स तब ये रेटिकुलम तक आता है आफ्टर रेटिकुलम इट कम अगेन इन माउथ एंड प्रॉपरली चीड और कट द फूड प्रोडक्ट इनटू वेरियस टाइनी टाइनी प्रोडक्ट when the food product was in human some gastric juice was there they help to digest the food product they help to digest some portion of the food product digested after rumen the food product it again come in reticulum and then reticulum to mouth After mouth, they completely chewed the food product and sent it into omasum. That is hair from mouth to omasum. After omasum, it goes again abomasum. The next part. After abomasum, they directly go into small intestine and. From the small intestine, they go in large intestine, like humans or like we. The food product then process like human beings. That is, the ruminants take food from mouth, half chewed or partially chewed the food product, and then send it into reticulum, omasum, and abomasum. they are act as a esophagus that is reticulum omasum and abomasum and the rumen is the true stomach true stomach that is here the food product like human beings when we take the food the food is go in stomach in our stomach like ruminants have a stomach that is rumen is the true stomach the rest of three reticulum omasum and abomasum are act as a food pipe or esophagus when a food product is taken by ruminants the food product is go through reticulum omasum and abomasum into rumen rumen is the rumen is the true stomach then some gastric juice is there in the rumen which help to digest the food product then again the food product it come from rumen up to reticulum then from reticulum it goes again in mouth where the food product is completely broken down and sent it into omasum and from omasum it goes again abomasum from abomasum it goes small intestine like humans in small intestine the food is absorbed the nutrients is absorbed from the food product and the undigested or unnecessary or jo jo hamare body ke liye ya ruminants ke liye kaam nahi hai from wo kya karte large intestine se bahar nikal dete So simple. So rumination or ruminants is over. So basically, four parts are there in uh, basically four parts are there in ruminants: reticulum, omasum, abomasum, and rumen. Except these parts, esophagus is there, small intestine is there, and large intestine is there. Okay. Now. come to another point that is nutrition nutrition process in amoeba so you know that amoeba is a single cell organism single cell organism means the cell has only one cell there are two types of cell present in our surrounding one is unicellular organism one is multicellular organism unicellular organism are those organism those who have only single cell and multicellular organism 
are the organism those who have more than one cell so amoeba is a single cell organism we human beings are multicellular organism because we have various type of organ to make a organ a various type of cell is required from various type from millions of cell a organ is formed like we have hand it is a organ it is an organ mouth nose teeth etc are there every organs consist of a millions of cells so we are multicellular organisms after organ it goes organisms so amoeba is a single cell organism that is the amoeba has only single cell so how the amoeba take the food or how the nutrition occur in amoeba so amoeba is a single cell organism it has fixed shape it has finger like pro projection suppose this is a amoeba this is a amoeba and this is nucleus nucleus is present in every cell nucleus is present in every cell a cell has mainly three parts nucleus cytoplasm and cell membrane nucleus cytoplasm and cell membrane so nucleus is there in amoeba suppose the amoeba find a food product here find a food product here so the amoeba move his body towards the food moves his body towards the food so this two this two parts of this two parts of his body is known as pseudopodia or false feet false feet or pseudopodia they take the food with the help of pseudopodia actually these are the false feet the body was look like that after find a food product the amoeba move his body towards the food and then create a false feet which is known as pseudopodia after this the food product is completely absorbed by the amoeba and here food vacuole is occur in food vacuole some juice are there some juices are there which help to digest the food product which is known as food vacuole in food vacuole some type of juice is there which help to digest the food product first new for uh, amoeba is like that then he find a food product and moves his body towards the food product after this they absorb or completely absorb the food product and here a food vacuole a vacuole is occurred which is known as food vacuole which have some juices which help them to digest the food and this is known as digestion we know that nutrition has mainly five step assimilation sorry uh, ingestion then absorption 
then assimilation and then ejection so the taking of food is now known as ingestion then here ingestion is occurred in this process digestion is occurred then assimilation absorption and ejection so digestion assimilation absorption is occurred in third stage after third stage the food product is goes or the process is goes in ejection in ejection so cytoplasm is there sorry nucleus is there so nucleus absorb the food uh, necessary things from the food nucleus absorb the necessary things from the food and then the unnecessary things or undigested things like humans like humans they remove it from their body with the help of with the help of cell membrane with the help of cell membrane so nucleus is present here when we find a food product it moves his body towards the food and create two uh, uh, false feet which is known as pseudopodia then they this process is known as ingestion after ingestion digestion is here and absorption assimilation three steps of nutrition occur in third stage or fourth stage and they absorb the food product which is necessary for his body and after this the food product or unnecessary things or uh, uh, the undigested things is removed from his body by cell membrane so very important thing nucleus is there and cell membrane is there cell membrane help amoeba to remove to uh, throw out the undigested food from his body so after digestion absorption assimilation ejection is occur in last stage the stage where amoeba throw out the food product throw out the unnecessary food product from his body so topic is over and chapter is also over stay connected with me for next update and do uh, a comment do like the video and if you are new in my channel then subscribe my channel thank you